and welcome to the space that gives you inspiration on motherhood, family, raising children, parenting, marriage, and business, work, um, job, career, and everything that's in between. Welcome to Women in Business, which is our theme this month. To all the ladies in the house, what's up, right? Um, last week we talked about you know i got so much feedback on um all the things that we talked about last week which was what do you need to think about if you're going to start a business right so i'm so glad that that tips helped you guys it yeah makes my day makes my day i promised last week that this week we shall talk about the qualities in a woman that make her a great business leader and so if you're here for that, um, grab a cup of coffee, <laughs> get your notebook and your pen because I'm going to be dropping nuggets. <laughs> Remember this month, I will be doing the childcare business course. And so if you're interested in that, please, there's a link in the description box. So please, yeah, sign up. Anyway, let's get into it. Um, qualities of a woman that make her a great business leader. So first of all, some of the things that I thought about were, you know, what makes a great business, right? Because that's where we should start. And there's some, there's, there's lots of qualities, right? Um, customer service, customer retention, marketing, having the right aesthetic in you know, what does the, your business look like, um, engaging your, your customers and your staff, um, human resource, decision making, some you know, lots of qualities that make businesses really great. And so when we look at the qualities that we have naturally as women, which is what I want to talk about today, some of these things come really easy for us. And so that means already at the, right at the beginning of when we start our business, we are already queued in to succeed, right? So let's dig in. The first quality I want to talk about is the fact that we are naturals we are it, we find it easy like i guess because we can have babies we can have dogs we can have cats we have homes we know how to take care of stuff and so because we are very nurturing we care for people we have absolutely great customer service we treat our businesses like we would a home we 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 have no we don't know how to divide that too. Like when someone comes into our business, we rarely find it hard to be welcoming to them because we are naturally naturals. We take care of stuff. So because of that, our customers are really happy with us. As long as it's a women, a woman, <laughs> a woman-led business, you're almost 99% sure that they'll be they'll have great customer service. The second one is um, I'm going to request all the feminists to just close cut their ears for a bit, right? Just for a bit. I find that women are the fairer, fairer sex. Um, we have natural curves. We are naturally soft and we have hips. We have, like, we're, we're just naturally beautiful. Like, if you put a man and a chick right next to each other like a chick looks really beautiful our uh, our calves we have it, parts on our bodies are accentuated like when we're, we're just beautiful and so because of that we know how to make things look good and because of that means we can actually be great marketing people standard because we know how things look good like think about this there's a guy and there's a chick. We already have these great, wonderful qualities about us that make us look like women. But guess what? We go and add some hair, add some earrings, add some rings, add some watches, add some, like there's always something more that we add, right? Why? Because we just naturally know how to make things look beautiful. And so that tells you like downright at that point, we are great marketing people. We know how to make things look good. We'll speak to someone and make something that doesn't look so good, look extremely good. Like immediately we enter a space, we know how to take out the beauty in it. And so because of that, that's one quality that makes us 
wonderful, wonderful business people. The third quality I would like to talk about is our empathy. We're such an empathetic sex. Um, we, we care for people. We, we, we put ourselves in their shoes. We, we, we do more. We're, we're very emotional, and so we connect emotionally. And so because of that, we have very, we have very high chances of customer retention. Um, and that's because if someone comes and tells us they're upset with what um, happened in our business, most times we're going to put ourselves in their shoes and then start to see what it is that we can do to make sure that they feel better about the situation. And so because of that, most times our customers stay in our business. The fourth is that we have attention to detail. Gosh, have you ever found us quarreling, uh, having a fight with a spouse? We remind you of things you did in like 19 oh, oh, because we, the detail matters for us. My husband keeps um, telling people that when I'm having a fight with him, I'll say things like, do you remember when we were in the car and the sun was rising? Yeah, yeah, yeah. the sun was rising. And then there was a child playing over what? Uh, football right next to the car. And he's like, Manuela, you have such like, he's like, how, d at that point I, he, he feels like he can no longer fight because he's just like, of course she remembers what I said. Like he can't deny that he said something. If I've said, he said it because I come with more than just what he said. I was, I experienced the entire uh, experience at that point because I was taking in more detail than just what he was saying. And so because of that attention to detail, nothing passes us by. Like there is, you. A staff member, uh, a product can't go by. Like there's things that you can't be robbed from your from your work. Like staff members can't rob you because you have such an attention. You know that you bought six mangoes in your juicing business, and so you know that six mangoes makes twelve cups of juice. And so when you look into your numbers, you're able to say, "Whoa, whoa, whoa, whoa wait, wait, wait." In February, we bought six mangoes. How come I'm seeing that we sold 11 cups of juice? What happened to the 12th cup? And then they start telling you stories of, ah, now you see, bossy, twaba de tuliawo, juicy na yika. Yeah, then you're like, hey, but the next day I bought got three more mangoes. Things that can be off book, that can pass a man by, don't pass us by. And that means we're also very good at things like our finances. Like, na you cannot, you cannot touch a woman's bag, right? Because we have such attention to detail. You know where that 1K is. After you had finished with uh, the taxi and they gave you a coin of 200, you're like, but wait, hold up. I had 200 shillings. I had 200 shillings. Where did I put it? Where did I put it? Oh, yes, in the back of my jean pocket. We have such attention to detail. And so because of that, nothing passes by uh, by us in our businesses. The 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 f what is this the fourth the fifth the fifth is we are multitaskers like we are born to multitask i look at men trying to multitask and even me i feel sorry i'm just like friend I'm just allow us to assist you right you're making a phone call to the supplier about your business um, maybe about your farm but you're also at that point in a going to go into a meeting or preparing for a meeting with your management team and then they're also calling you to tell you that your child, you have to go and pick them up to go for um, immunization. You can actually be in your car, taking your child for immunization, talking to the guy in the farm. You ask a man to do it. Confusion. Because they can only drive and finish driving. Then they can take the child to, for immunization. But they're there now having a phone call. Uh, doesn't happen for men. So because we're such multitaskers, we have a great ability to balance our work and our families or our homes, which does not happen a lot for men. Have, have you ever seen a guy tell you, um, he'll call you and say, oh, so I'll be there, I'll be back home at 9. And by 11, he hasn't yet realized that he has not left office because they are very one focus. For us as ladies, it's so easy. We can actually come home and still be working because we just have that natural ability um, to multitask. The other is that we are great communicators. Okay, so the truth is sometimes we do over-communicate and 
Sometimes that can be annoying, but the truth is we are great communicators. Um, we give every detail. We are great communicators. And if you think about it uh, um, in terms of our staff members, it means that we have high engagement. We are constantly talking to our staff members, asking them, how were you? What happened? And last time you told me that your wife is pregnant. Uh, we, how far? How, what sex is the baby? We are able to communicate. We are able to talk. We are able to engage in conversation. And that helps with our engagement, especially at work, but also for our customers. It helps us getting more information from our customers that can help us design our services, change our services. It's just an amazing thing that, um, that we have naturally, that we do naturally. So never feel bad about being a great communicator. The second last one is we have a high emotional intelligence. We're just able to tell when we sit in office that a staff member of ours is off. We're able to tell. For a guy, they will tell that a staff member is off when they have failed to get something done more than three times. That's when they say, but there's probably something wrong with him or with her. But for us, immediately a staff member gets into the office, you can tell. You can say good morning and you can tell that there's something wrong. They can answer you in a certain way and you're just like, mm -mm, that doesn't sound like her. There seems to be a problem. We have a very high emotional intelligence. And so because of that, we have high loyalty with our staff members, high loyalty with our staff members and even with our customers uh, because we're able to tell how they are feeling even before they say what they are feeling. Lastly, and probably the one that I love the most, we're not egotistical. Like, it's not about ego here. Our testosterone levels are really low, except for some ladies like myself. I have to keep reminding myself that estrogen should, should be the highest hormone in my body. But the truth is, we're not egotistical. And so it's not about who decides who is right, who, and because of that, we have very high rates of teamwork. We can work in teams. And that makes it so much easier for our staff members because it's not about who's right or wrong for us. And we don't feel bad if someone said what we did was wrong. We, are just, we just don't have that much ego as compared to men, right? Um, and that's it. Eight things or eight qualities about a woman that make her a great business leader. But I must tell you, there's some qualities about us that make us horrible business leaders. Are you interested in knowing what that sounds like? Next week. <laughs> I'll see you next week for our next episode on the channel. So until next time, I can't wait to see you. Bye-bye. Oh, like, subscribe. Why do I forget? Like, subscribe, comment.